Hi there, it's Wade McMaster here. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can basically create, uh, how to set up your Photoshop file for YouTube channel art. Now, the reason I'm talking about this is because YouTube channel art, it tends to shop differently across different devices. If you show up on a TV, it generally shows like a full TV sized image. If you're on desktop, it crops that image quite dramatically and then even further for tablets and other devices. So what I'm actually gonna do is create a template which allows you to put a design that works across all of these platforms. So we're in Photoshop. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna create a new image. So I'm gonna get a file and then go to new. And I want my dimensions to be 2560 by 1440 pixels. So 2560 wide by 1440 high. And I'm going to go create. So now we've got our image. Now for the sake of the video, I'm gonna make that black because the guidelines will stand out better against it. But what I wanna do is I wanna set up some guidelines so I know exactly where I can put all my text and information that I don't want getting cropped. Now this doesn't mean you can't inf inf have information outside of this area, but it just means that any information that is outside this area can get cropped. So if you want information you're happy to show on a television that you don't want to show on other uh, devices, then you've basically got that option as well, which some people do. They put little hidden messages there, like, you know, all sorts of stupid stuff, but anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, so we're going to go uh, into this, basically to the selection marquee tool here. If you can't see that, just it'll be one of these. You click and hold until you get a marquee tool. I'm gonna hit Control A to select everything, or I think it's Command A. If not, just grab this tool and drag over the whole image. Over here on the left, you can either hit Q or hit this little button, the square with the circle in it to get your quick mask. Now what I'm gonna do from here, you'll notice on the layers panel, it's gone red. Uh, also it says here, quick mask, that's how you know you're in. And I'm actually going to, once again, select the whole area. I'm gonna go to edit, free transform. And this is where we're gonna sort of punch in some numbers. I wanna make sure I don't have this linked. So if this is linked, you wanna turn that off and make sure it's unselected. Because what I'm actually gonna do is here, if it says percentage, I wanna type PX at the end for pixels. I'm gonna type in next to height or H, 423 PX for pixels. Now, like I said, it may be percentages, it may be pixels, it depends on your setup. Now you see here that the actual area has sort of dropped. Now, I wanna actually make sure my rulers are here. So if they're not there, I go to view, and I go to rulers and turn them on. Cause then I can drag and it should just sort of snap into place. If not, you can come in or even just come in a little bit if you wanna be cautious. But I just wanna get a guideline here and a guideline at the bottom. There may be a better way of doing this, but this is just the way I do it. And then I just save the template for next time. So the next thing you wanna do is there's now a tablet width you can work with. So next to width over here, we're actually gonna type in 1855px. And this is what it would crop to for a tablet. So I'm actually gonna go over here and drag another guide to either sides of that there. And again, I go up the top to the width and I'm gonna go 1, 15, 46. I'm gonna pop these dimensions down below too to show you what you should be cropping to. But also, I'm going to, I'm actually gonna save this Photoshop template for you to download. So you don't necessarily have to go through these steps if you don't want to. In the description below, there'll be a link to a blog post where you can go and download this template or a JPEG you can simply design over the top of. So now I've got my guidelines in place. I'm gonna hit this tick button up here or control enter. I'm going to exit the quick mask by clicking this here or clicking Q on the keyboard. Control D. And now I have my guidelines ready to create my channel art. So what I'm gonna do, I'm actually, uh, I've got some elements here from a previous video I just did on Instagram. I'm gonna place some elements on this page, such as a texture. So I'll pop this texture in here, drop the opacity right down so we get this cool sort of effect. I'm also going to place, uh, I've got this other head I used before. I'm not too concerned about the actual design, but I am trying to create something so you can see exactly how, how this works. So I've got this here. I'm going to just take the color of it just because it's similar to what I did before. And then I'm gonna type in channel name here. 
command shift to keep that proportion. And then of course I can type in some info. So, you know, posting every Tuesday or something like that. Okay, so as you can see here, this very middle section is the safe section. This is where we want to put most of our information. And uh, if you want to, for tablet, you can add something out here in these areas. And for television, uh, some devices will actually, you'll get the full width in the middle here. On television, you'll get this full image. So you can see that by putting the information in here, but designing around to a point where you're happy to chop off certain elements, you get a bit of flexibility in your image. So I'm actually going to save that image and I'm just going to post it onto a... Um, so I'm just going to post it onto a private channel of mine, then I'm going to get rid of it. But uh, you can see exactly how that works. So I'm going to get a file, and then I'm going to go to export, save for web. And I've got a JPEG here. I'm going to save this image as YouTube. Basically, I shouldn't be saving it there, but that's okay. But also, if I want to save this template, if I want to be working on it in the future, um, you can save it as a template by saving it as a .psdt file, but I'm just going to save it. So YouTube channel art. I can save it as a PSD just by hitting enter, or if I want to save it as a template, I can go PSDT like that. So I'm not going to do that. I'm going to save it just as a PSD for now. Obviously, you don't want to upload your PSD. This is just saving it for future reference. We want to use that JPEG that we just exported, and I'm going to upload it to a channel of mine. So I'm going to switch over to YouTube. Okay, so this is actually my private account. That's why you probably notice there's a lot of things blurred out here because this is the account I use to surf and watch basically whatever. Um, if I don't want to see, if I don't want to sort of interact and do too many professional things, this is, this is my personal account. But I'm going to pop this on here to show you how it works. So I'm going to go here to Customize Channel. And we've got the option here to add channel art. And you see here already, that we've got a little preview of the differences of the channel art here. So I'm going to go up here to add channel art, select a photo from my computer, now if you zoom in you'll notice that on the TV we get the full image on desktop, we get this cropped image. On mobile, we get an even tight, more tightly cropped image, but we haven't lost any of the text that we typed in under channel name. So basically, I'm gonna select that. And you can see my channel name is there. So regardless of what device I go on, this text isn't gonna get chopped off. I've got the face in here if I want some kind of visual element. And we're basically good to go. So. Pretty straightforward. Obviously, if you don't know how to use Photoshop, you're going to need some to learn the skills on how to design in Photoshop. If you have any questions about Photoshop, please leave a comment because uh, obviously I've been using Photoshop for quite some time. I may be able to help you with a video or um, any requests uh, just to help you get through. But that's generally how you can create a template and then simply create your design within that template in Photoshop. So I hope you found that video useful. If you did, please give it a like. If you want more videos like this for Photoshop or anything to do with YouTube, social media or running a website, uh, please leave a comment, uh, please subscribe and also any comments below, any ideas that you'd like to see, let me know and uh, I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.